Uh, let's look at this one right here. Look at this one right here. All right, so from statics, from statics, hopefully you can get that I've got an A, Y right here of 1,900 pounds. And I've got a BY right here of 1,400 pounds. All right? I, I sum the moments about A is equal to zero and uh, sum the forces in the Y direction equal to zero to, to get those. All right. So now I'm ready to draw my shear diagram. The first thing that I encounter is this 1,900 up 1900 now uh, yes I, I do encounter that distributed load but remember distributed loads don't push it immediately I, i've got to kind of step a, a few steps into it you know before that 400 pounds per foot starts pushing me down by 400 pounds every foot okay so there we go now how much would this push me down you know, over that six foot section, you probably would have needed to do this from your statics portion anyway, but uh, 400 pounds per foot, and I've got six feet worth of it, 2,400 pounds. So it pushes me down 2,400, but not immediately. Uh, it pushes me down over a time. So if I was at 1,900 and I get pushed down by 2,400, now I'm at what, negative 500? Now I'm at negative 500. Uh, did it push me down that way? Curve, curve. The loading is a slope of V. It pushed me down by 400, by 400, by 400. So linearly, I would break out a, a student ID. Make sure that line is linear. Then I get pushed down by another 900. So now I'm at negative 1400. And then there's nothing between here and here. And looky there. Yes, I get pushed up by 1,400, which brings me back to zero. All right. So there's my V diagram, the units for that. Those were all in pounds. Now the M diagram. There was no, ex there's no support moment right there at a so so i'm definitely starting right here at zero um even throughout that whole diagram there are no moments that push me up and down immediately um so the only thing i'm looking for is the area under the v right i'm looking for the area under the v so this is a positive area right here and then this is a negative area right here. And then also more negative areas right here. I need to find the area of that pink triangle. Uh, so I need to find this distance X where it crosses zero. There's a number of ways to do this. If you know the slope, you know, if it starts at 1900, and you've got a slope of 400, you, could, you know, how much X does before it gets to zero. Uh, you could kind of do like similar triangles. I think that's what I prefer. I like to do similar triangles. So I, I would say that this, this whole triangle, this whole triangle of this distributed load is 2,400 by six which i'm also actually just calculated the slope of 400 uh but the um the large green triangle 2400 by six and that is similar equal to this pink triangle which is 1900 by x and see if it makes sense x of 4.75 feet you know, I think you can tell whether it should be closer to one side or the other. But anyway, it reaches, it, it's, it crosses zero at a value X of 4.75.
So now I can find uh, the change in M. Let me do this in pink. The change in M, one half base times height, right? I'm just trying to find this pink area of that triangle. This would be 4,512.5. So I go from zero up to 4,512.5. Uh, but do I go linearly straight this way? V is the slope of M. V is the slope of M. You're all going to remember that. V is the slope of M. So I start with a slope of 1,900. I end with a slope of zero. That would be that curvature. That would be that curvature. Okay. All right. Now, this green, the rest of that, this is below the V axis. So this would be a negative area. Um, and it would be one half base. All right. Well, if this was. 4.75, then the rest of it is 1.25. Uh, height of 500, so this would be 312.5. So I need to go down by 312.5. I was at 45, 12.5. I need to go down, so where do I end? Uh, right here at 4200. V is the slope of M. V is the slope of M. So I start with a slope of zero right here. And then I've, I've, I start to get a negative slope. So it's, it's that curvature. All right. And then this right here, what's the area of that? It's a rectangle base or, or height times base. Base times height, 1,400. Uh, by three, looky there, 4,200. Awesome, because there's nothing else that pushes me up or down. And so it pushed me down by 4,200. Does it go straight, curved, curved? Well, V is the slope of M. V is the slope of M. So I've got a slope of negative 1,400, negative 1,400, negative 1,400, negative 1,400. So there is our moment diagram. There is our moment diagram. 